defend its title as the worst show in the history of television. Now, incredibly, in its 13th season, here's our host, Jerry Springer. Welcome. Hey, welcome to the show. My guests today say that for them, love and betrayal seem to go hand in hand. Please meet Douglas. He says that he's found God and God has him on quite a mission. Douglas, what is this mission? Yeah, um, Jerry, I'm from Washington, state yes. of Washington. Yes. I'm in a small church, roughly about 50 people. Yes. And I prostitute my girlfriend <laughs> for to keep the <laughs> church open. Wait. You're, you're a minister of a church. Yes. And you prostitute your girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So um, you're a minister, but then you're a pimp. Yeah. No, I, I wouldn't say a pimp. I would say more like a promoter. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I mean... What do you, you get people to sin so that they can come to your church and then I you I wouldn't call it a sin because um, guilt bring, bring forth sin. So if I don't feel guilty about it, I'm not sinning. Oh, that's a great <laughs> philosophy. You know better than that. Oh, uh, well, I, mean, hey, think, I, I'm not, I don't feel guilty about it, so why not? Well, why, why have other, you know, you're supposed to try to get people to walk the straight and narrow, not to try to get, you know, not to encourage people to go out and sin some more. Well, you know, during the Old Testament and the New Testament, there was premarital sex. Joseph um, worked the fields for Leah and Rachel, and they, the father gave them, Rachel and Leah to Joseph for his labor. Okay, so that's like prostitution, right? Okay, so what you're saying, because I I didn't see the whole movie, but what you're saying, oh, it. You, you know what? You can look in Genesis, the okay. book of Genesis. What you're saying, okay, yeah. what you're saying is that God says Solomon is, had three hundred wives. You what? Solomon had three hundred wives. Can you imagine the alimony? Mistresses. <laughs> I only got. I only. I'd like I only to be have his one. lawyer. Uh, okay, so now you're saying. On a serious note, you're saying that either through the scripture or through God talking, does God talk to you? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Um, tell him I said hi. Uh, <laughs> but when God but talks you to you, God tells, okay, I'll be okay. serious. When God talks right. to you, God says this is a good thing, that you should take your girlfriend and, and, and have her be a prostitute. What, do you get her clients? You stand yeah, up during your sermon and say, line up here on the right? No, 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 I don't go to not in my church. I go to other churches, they Bible studies, get to know the people. Some of the men are lonely, they have sexual urges. All men have sexual urges, right? Yeah. So they, <laughs> they can't find, they can't find can't a wife for a woman. I can't imagine going to my rabbi and saying, hey. <laughs> oh, the rabbis rabbi, do it too. Can you fix me up? <laughs> <laughs> the Roman Catholic Church do it. They used to have Temple prostitution back in the ancient religion. Do the other ministers in your area, do they say, hey, nice no, going? No, because I, I keep it on DL. <laughs> the well, download, that's... if you don't know what that means. That's true. They're probably not watching this show. That's true. They're probably not watching this show. So. Wait, wait, if they is watching if this show. If they are, they're sinning. <laughs> yeah, they be calling me. <laughs> this is. All right. So you're, right. you're okay. So you have a girlfriend, right? And how long has she been your girlfriend? Three years. You don't feel bad that you're having her. But go she out was to, a prostitute before I met her. And you didn't think you could, this? You're dedicating yourself to God by being a prostitute? No, I'm not a prostitute. No, she is. <laughs> well, that's well, in a sense, just, you are. 
No, you know, yeah, if you're doing you know, this, you're prostituting had, your religion. If I had That's the necessities, doing. I would do it myself. But I don't have the necessities. Thank, thank God for that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your girlfriend, you're saying she was a prostitute before. Right. And then you met her. Right. Where'd you meet her? Were you a client or what? No, I was never a client. So, uh, so, well, you, you, you talk about that like, No, she came, she came, I was passing out flies for, you know, for another minister. You were passing out flies to come Right, to I mean, yeah, we had, uh, like, uh, I was tutelage on another minister, and he had a fundraiser, we were passing out, I was passing out flies and met her as I was passing out the flies. Yeah, okay, so you're walking That was down. three years ago. Yes. And then did you did you ask her out or did she come to the I mean how did you then you passed out? Well, a we just talked and she was telling me about her problems and stuff like that. And so you said what? Let's go out. Uh, yes, sort of something like that. Okay, do you have sex with her? <laughs> Three months ago. You what? Three months ago. Oh yeah, I'm not saying how that, but you you do. In other yeah, words, you're we, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she had to get baptized. She had to be purified before I had sex with her. What about you? I'm already pure. Well, you're pure or something. Okay, look. <laughs> All right, so you know. Well, look, you got to admit, this is an outrageous uh, idea. Uh, true that. Okay, so what do you mean you, bap you baptize her? What do you And walk in the bathtub, and I, you know, say a little <laughs> blessing over her. And then we have sex. All right. I tell you what, let's take a break. I want to meet this woman. Okay. We'll be right back. No problem. <laughs> you guys should treat it better than the way that you treat me. Do you understand that? I love you. You don't love me. If you love me, I if love you, you love me, you don't want to do it no more. Do you understand it. that? If you love me, you still do it. Do you understand it. that? You'll I still love do you it. You don't love me. You don't love me. You don't love me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Welcome back. This is really strange. Douglas is here. Douglas professes to be a minister. You said you had 50 people in your congregation. They're close to. You're, you're out in the state of Washington. Yeah. And, uh, and yet you, uh, you have a girlfriend of three years who is a prostitute, and you, you procure clients for her. Right. You, you know, the street language is you, you're a pimp. That's, um, you know, I'm yeah, not trying to call you language. names, but that's what you are. Right, right. I, I mean... Um, Temple prostitution was a, a ceremony back in ancient religion. <laughs> they used to sacrifice the virgins to be blessed from God. If you think you're right, how come the, the church of any denomination doesn't kind of back you on this? I mean, well, my guess uh, Roman, is... If Roman you, Catholic, I mean, they've been what? doing it for centuries. The what? The Roman Catholic. The Hebrews was doing it. I'm not saying people haven't done it. I'm saying it's not the official doctrine of any church to say, let's take our parishioners and get them out there to be prostitutes and we'll... Is that how you do your tithing? Do no, you I get don't, your 10%? No, I don't No. So what do you do with the money she gets? Because you're her pimp. I, I keep the church open. I, pay the, I, I keep the lights on, the, the bills, and she get, she get her bills paid and, you know... Uh, she has to have Food the lights on. the table, on. clothing, and all that. <laughs> she got to have the lights on to see what she's doing. Let's meet her. Here's Shirley. You know, I brought you here today uh -huh. to tell you that I don't want a prostitute anymore. I don't want to. It's not the life. Okay. I may have done it before you but I'm tired. I can't do it anymore. You can't stop now. Yes, I can no, you stop. Can't. You know, I, I, when I first met you, I confided in you three years ago and told you about my past, how, how I prostituted and how I was done with it. You turned around and manipulated me back into doing it when I didn't want to. And you talk about, oh, you buy this and you buy that. You don't buy nothing. I'm the one that does that. Yeah, but I'm... I I'm, do it. I'm, I do it. Okay, but I'm like your... 
promoter. Like what? No, you're you ain't promoter a promoter because you ain't you're not nothing. Walk, promote nothing. You're not walking the streets out what do you there. Mean? I don't have to walk the streets. I don't have to. I know do you don't have to walk the streets. All you have to do is stay at home and wait. What do you mean stay at home and wait? Stay at home and wait for what? For your clients. To get some disease or something? You know, you are use you protection, crazy? don't you? You're crazy. Oh, well, you I, are crazy. You are crazy enough to for doing it in the first place. No, no, place. see, you because told you me volunteer for that. Do this yeah, for the church. If you love me the that church, much, you would do this. Forget the church. Forget the church. I ain't got time for the church. I ain't got time for. You said you was going to dedicate yourself life. for that. You know, I had kids when I was young. I was 13 okay. years old. I have four kids. I don't have any of them now. They made my because kids of my your past kids. decisions. Them your because kids, of not my past mine. Decisions. Did you really? And you told me. Didn't you think he was a little bit weird? I mean, telling you he's a minister and that you're going to prostitute so that you can keep the lights on the church open? I knew him for a long time, and it wasn't like that at first. What was it at first? He was at just first, a guy he hitting was just, on you. He was just a friend. Yeah. You know, somebody that I could talk to. Yes. Somebody that I could confide in. Yes. And it seemed like it was everything that I needed. And I had told him about my past, about me prostituting and everything. And he and encouraged you to continue? Not at first, no. Okay. It kind of led to it. Okay. You know, he'd come up with different ideas, or why don't you do this, you know? And you gave him your money. No, I don't even see the money, Jerry. I don't need... Because you know right they here. They come and they right pay here. him. <laughs> they pay him. I don't even know how much. Okay. I don't even know how much they pay him. Okay. Why? You... Only thing I get is clothes you... and food. Okay, you seem like you're... But you don't look too shabby. <laughs> You seem like you're pretty articulate. You know, you're not a dumb person. What are you doing? I was trying to live, and I guess I was wrong. Well, you know? <laughs> well, whatever you were doing, okay. Without moralizing about the prostitution, why did you go for this story that he's going to take the money and help his church? Because he does have a church, and he does need money for the church because he doesn't ask do for tidings. The, do you go to this uh, Sunday morning services? I go to it sometimes. Yeah. And what, but I'm to the point there? now where do I don't believe in it, and I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, do people in his congregation know what he's doing? No, they don't. Well, they will now. Of course they will. <laughs> What's going to happen to your congregation? You think still going to be He's probably going to lose them all. Because, see, I can be just like Moses. When Moses killed that you Egyptian... You know, that's who you are. When I saw you, I said... <laughs> but that... I funny. couldn't place you. And I'm just here, but okay, I'm telling you, you I'm I've not never doing it, it anymore. Funny. Okay, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. And you're going to do I'm, it. I'm turning my life around, and you can either be with me and just be me and you and okay. nobody else, or <laughs> I don't know what else to do, but I know I'm not going to, I know I'm not doing this for you anymore. I'm not helping you. I'm not putting money in your pocket no more. I'm not helping you with this, with this church thing you got going on. I'm not doing it anymore. You know, it, it makes me feel degraded, makes me feel sick. But you were degraded before I'm you met me. Anymore. But I had stopped for a you year. How you stop? I had stopped for you a year. You still doing it. It was just last week. Months. I'd only done it for a couple months. Last week, my butt, you got me messed up. I don't think so. It was just last I, week. I ain't doing it no more. You got to do it. I ain't doing it. I ain't got to do nothing. What All I got do? to do is live and die. I don't have to do anything. And I'm not going to. I refuse to. Well, you know, it, it, do you think, do you think you, I'm wrong? Do you think no, I'm wrong? No, of course you're right. I'm not wrong. So you, uh, Jerry, women turn, are just like buses, I want, I always the number one coming. So if she don't want to do that, it was somebody around. else out there to do it. I deserve to be treated better than the way that you treat me. Do you understand that? I love you. You don't love me. If you love me, I if love you, you love me, you'll do still be doing it. Do you understand that? If you love me, you still do it. Do you understand that? I love you. You don't love me. You don't love me. You don't love me. You probably no love them tricks more than you no, love me. No, I don't. Get Do you understand here. me? I want oh, to be with no, you. No, no, no. You don't want to be with me. Else. You don't want to be with me because you stopped doing it. I don't want you nobody still, else. If you're going to be with me, you're still going to be doing I'm it. I'm not going to do it. You're still going to be doing gonna it. Stop. No. You're, you're going to stop. No. You're going to dedicate yourself to my church. You're going to dedicate yourself. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Forget church. We'll be back.
you. Welcome back. My guests today all say they feel like their relationships are a sinking ship. Please meet Orenda. She says that at 18, she's not sure if she's ready for marriage. Orenda, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I've been with my boyfriend for a year. Yes. And I got pregnant right away. And we moved up here. We mo I moved away from my family. Yeah. We used to really like each other. You know, he still likes me. But just being with him, it repulses me. I can't. <laughs> he, he, he comes to me and he'll be nice to me and I look at him and it's just I don't want to be with him, you know? Oh, but you were with him that night you got pregnant. You, then you wanted to be or you were drunk or you weren't? I was drunk. You were drunk. <laughs> uh, was drunk. Did you ever, were you ever attracted to I him? I did like him. So in the beginning you did? Yeah. But okay. after I was pregnant, and pregnancy is nine months long. It's a long pregnancy and it's I've hard. Heard, I've read about it, yeah. yeah. You read about it? Yeah. It's hard. Yes. And he wasn't there for me. He'd go out and he works all the time and he'd party and he'd be gone for two or three days and he wouldn't come in and check on me. You know, I was pregnant. I could have died, you know. Yeah. I was all alone, didn't have a phone, didn't have a way to get anywhere. And I just, I don't want to be with him. Okay, so you're here to tell him what? Well, for the past month, I've been cheating on him with our roommate, Jason. <laughs> now, how come you guys have a roommate? Well... See, we owned a store, and yes. then we lost that store, and yeah. they needed a roommate, so we moved in with them. Oh, okay. So you guys moved in to stay with this guy. Yeah. And uh, how long have you been sleeping with him? With Just this for the past month. For the past month you've been cheating, okay. Since you had your baby. Yeah. Uh, do you think he has any clue that you've been sleeping with his, with a roommate? Well, I've been in their room sometimes when he'd come home from work. You know, we'd be watching TV, and that's my excuse. We were just watching TV because I didn't want to be alone in my room. Yeah, naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All no right. Way. Let's let's meet your boyfriend. You can tell him here he is, Logan. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. And how long have you been together now? Well, we've been together about a year now, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So about March. Good. And I understand you have a baby. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Good. Uh, what? Oh, and you know you're here because she wants to tell you something. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Um. Well, we've been together for a year, yeah. and I know you really like me, I and we're you. supposed to get married. Yeah. But I really, I don't want to marry you. I really don't like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you, I needed you during the pregnancy and I needed you now and I feel like that you're not attracted to me anymore. You know, I look different since I've had the baby when I was pregnant and I don't think that you really like me. So, I've, I've been cheating on you. And, and um, you know him. It's, it's Jason. Our roommate, Jason. Did you have any suspicion that was going on? I had no idea, Jerry. I thought, I thought things were going okay, you know? There's and you no, know, I thought that was gonna be all right. You know, doing good with the baby. I thought you loved me. I, I, I think I was, I liked being in love. I liked the thought of being in love. That was great. You know, I can't, I can't believe this, man. Oh. Do you feel a little bit bad? I didn't want to hurt him, but I mean, I, I just, I can't help it if I don't want to be with him. Yeah. I mean. Well, you told me you love me. I mean. I mean, I if you tell me. me that you love me, you asked me to marry you in a club. <laughs> Special to me, you know. I'm, I'm sorry I haven't been able to give you everything you wanted. I'm sorry, you know, I, I don't have enough money to give you what you want, you know, stuff like that, and then I had to ask you out in the I club. haven't bought anything new in a year since I've been with you. I've had nothing new. You see these shoes? They got holes in them. I got nothing new. I had to borrow a shirt from Jerry, man. <laughs> Yeah. I had it a I long time you ago. You, you, you did work, but I mean, 
you'd only work so you could have money for yourself. You'd buy your computer games, you could buy your Xbox and your GameCube and everything like that. You'd buy stuff for yourself. I don't know, I, bought, I, put, I, put, uh, I got you a necklace, a ring, you know, to actually marry me with. I wasn't gonna sit here and just ask you with nothing. I bought diapers for our son, formula, clothes, I buy that swing, too. Other stuff, I right? work, I buy that too. Well, I mean, I ain't saying it's all one side, it's a 50 50 thing. But all my money ain't just going to games. It ain't Most going to you know, all this other stuff. No, it ain't. Yes, I'm it putting is. a roof over your head, I'm feeding you. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll meet this other guy. comes on the show and finds out from his girlfriend, Orenda, that, uh, Orenda, who basically just had a baby with him, uh, that she has been for the last month or so cheating on him with the roommate, uh, because you guys live at his place, right? Okay. It's our place. It's at your place, but he's, he lives with you there, and you've been cheating for him, and you know this guy. Is he a longtime friend or just someone you met? He's been my friend ever since I moved up in Missouri. Oh, I well. gave him my, like, when I had my business there, I gave him a job. Yeah. He worked with us. I invited him over to the house. I'd take him out to clubs and stuff like that. I introduced him to his girlfriend. You know, me and him were friends for a long time. And he would do this to you. Well, let's find out what he has to say about yeah. it. Here's Jason. being a man, dude. You're sitting, you say you want to give her this life, but you know what you do? You sit down, you watch TV, you sleep all the time, then you go burgers. You ain't trying to think about your future. Listen, I got a future. job. So I bring my income into the house. Well, I have an appointment check, dude, I'm so out there working. I got a part-time job. So I got a part-time job, I collect I can't own. believe it. I, dude, I told you that she was the love of my life, dude. I told you. Then why don't you treat her like that? Huh? No, treat you don't like treat what? Her. Dude, I appreciate it. I do everything you for her, You appreciate her, huh? You're leaving her barefoot and pregnant at the house while we go and partied up at the clubs? Yeah, what? Oh, what? Huh? I offer you my house and home. And I appreciate You can't even cover my face like that. You can't even, dude. I gave you a freaking job, man. I sit here. You I gave me a job? Yeah, I gave you a job. And you let the business. Okay, this is your friend, in fairness. Man, I ain't known him that well, long. Well, well, anyway. <laughs> okay, but he's been, he's... Hey, man. And they just had a child. You gotta admit, that's... Yeah, okay, well. I won't be around you either. If he but... was there for his freaking family, she okay. wouldn't have had to go look for a freaking real man. Did, did you...
ไปแตะWhat's gonna happen here? Let me Shut see. Uh, <laughs> you, you, what do you want to say to her? Just talk now for a second, no fighting. What do you want to say to her? Look, babe. Talk. Pay me. I don't know. This thing's really <laughs> But you know what? Oh, God. You know what? Maybe if you stop thinking about yourself for like five minutes and come deal with your family. How do I think about myself uh, and not my family? In this last freaking month, you want to buy a new car and get your boobies, knowing... I work for it. Okay. That's why I work every day of the week. And when I work, I should be able to buy whatever the hell I want, And what do you want to do while you're working all the time? You stay at home and That's apparently right. and screw take up. Care of
until we get home. It's my house. I pay the bills. The only one in the live. damn house that pays the bills. When God, have you all you bill? haven't talked about is just Dell. Huh? You always put yourself up here like we're all freaking dirt and you're a freaking cloud nine. Really? Huh? Why don't you shrink your freaking head and come back to reality and talk to us now? <laughs> You've been telling everybody when we come up here have class. How about you get some class? Stop being a stripper. Oh, okay. You're right. Hey, she's got a point. You're right. I'm going to take your clothes off. You take your panties off for a dollar. You're right, I a do, dollar. so I can take care of my kids. Where? Who what? Takes care Where are you at? Who changed? Who takes? Who ta hey. Who gets up with your kids? You ain't up either. You're in the same damn bed as hers. I don't hear you bitching at Where's all. Where's your bed, huh? Downstairs, so I get my happy That's ass right. up. Okay, yeah. And well, I sit here and take care of your kids. Day. Your kids Dang. call me daddy. You're full of crap. All right, so what's going to happen here? Uh, who's going home with whom? I'm going home by myself, Jerry. Okay, you can all find a new place to live. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to pay money for that place. We'll be back. you get the hell out. This goes, <clears throat> excuse me, this question goes out to uh, Jerry's shirt over here at the end. <laughs> now that she left it, what do you plan on doing? Go to Oprah! Go to Oprah! Go to Oprah! Go to Oprah! I'm gonna go. Yeah, my question for the broke Reverend Pimp Daddy right there. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you need, well, like my comment, you need to work on your pimp game, because I ain't never seen a pimp let his whole dress better than he do. I just told you. <laughs> Right there. She said she don't see the money. There it go, right there. I don't see no cash. But you don't have to see it. That's what you got on. I need is clothes. Jeez, and I'm not dang. a pimp, my brother. Told you I was a promoter. Yeah. I have a question for this guy down here at the end. Why the hell did you leave a stripper for a nasty ass slut sitting right next to you? <laughs> Dude. Where's your man? How am I nasty? My, my kid, so I can be here. Hey, that's you just like right. her. Oh, so, yeah, just yeah, like her. You're nasty. Get over yourself. Okay, I'm nasty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're nasty. Yeah. You're nasty. Yeah. Okay, you want to come up here? You want to come up here? Yeah. You're not nasty. I think you're nasty, bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you got a bigger vocabulary? Hi. You credit for what you're doing, and her, you said she'd do anything for a dollar. I don't see what she has, because it sure as hell isn't like this. <laughs> goes out for the woman in the black. You said you're saving up to get your new breast. Can we see the before picture?
first of all, I like to say, y'all two are sitting in the right spot. Y'all two cheetahs need to be with each other. Y'all two, y'all are dumb anyway. Look at them. But I do commend y'all because you know what? At least y'all, at least you had the nerve enough. You in the blue, at least you had the nerve enough to tell him you didn't want to be with him, but you shouldn't have cheated oh. before that. And I still You see how at the end she saved her question? <laughs> it's amazing how you can save it. Okay, and here we go. Hey, that's for the fake pimp over there. Why are you dating Miss Cleo? <laughs> You need a blessing, brother. <laughs> hey, man, you ain't looking like Steven Cigar. You look like a rad dog. Who <laughs> that? You suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. We'll be back. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show and good luck in what decisions you make. Hope it works out for you. You know, let's face it, to be on our show, your story has to be pretty outrageous or way out of the ordinary or it doesn't even qualify. I'm not saying that normal behavior doesn't belong on television. Of course it does. But it doesn't belong on our show. So consequently, we get guests saying all kinds of things on our show and oftentimes we don't approve one iota of what they're saying or doing. Sometimes it even disgusts us. But with deference to the principle of free speech in our society, we would never deny them the right to be heard just because we don't like or even hate what they're espousing. But with that right exercised by our guests to be heard, no matter how popular or unpopular their viewpoint, goes the attendant right of those in our audience to respond, in a sense, to be heard as well. We all have a right to challenge the sometimes insanity we witness here on the principle that here in America, even on the craziness of a talk show, ideas and lifestyles win or lose, not by censorship or dictatorial edict, but simply by their own weight, by their own merit or lack of it. We saw some of that today. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. you had this church? About two years. Now, you dress up in robes and everything? No, I just dress casually. Just... What do you got, like a, like an old storefront or something? Yeah, exactly. So it's like... All about 50 people. So it's like a big scam, right? So you don't no, have to worry. No, it's not a big scam. Come on, I used people to be a did... policeman. I used to, you I, don't go by these things. That, and... But it's not a scam, Steve. It's, it's, it's more like, you know... You take money from the people. No, though, I don't. Right? No, I don't. You don't, I take, don't take no money? money. That's, why the, that's why my girl is out there getting the <laughs> money, so I don't have to take the money from the people. That's even worse, though. You're better off taking right. the money from the people. Uh, I'll be better. Then I had more people slapping me in the face then. <laughs> All right, buddy, good luck. All right. Stay out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.